All right. Helena told me you were reading the Count of Mon Ponte Risco or Monte Cristo. Yeah, I was. I couldn't get what it was about. You need it for something? It's around here somewhere. Around here somewhere? It's on a table downstairs. Probably. Okay, why did Helen offer you that book? Hell if I know. Did she expect me to have some kind of life-changing epiphany? Some transfigurative moment that changes me forever from a petty, angry piece of garbage? Well, not so, my ugly friend. I have my own favorite reads. You're ugly. Well, can you summarize it for me? You're a lazy piece of shit, but I can totally relate to that. I gave up after three pages. Thanks for nothing, dude. Anytime. <laughs> You're such an ass. I guess I'm gonna have to go see down on a table somewhere downstairs. That's so undescriptive. Okay, you know what? Let's. We have a key to Dexter's room. Let's go to Dexter's room. Aldridge's room. Whatever. Room five, I think. Here we go. Excellent. Let's see a hollow tape. Audio log five. Time to show what you found to James. Did he hide anything in here? Wait, why would he leave? Why would he leave an uh, hollow tape here? He could have just taken them with him himself, you know? Unless there's like some kind of like. No, you must not take this with you sort of thing going on. Well, let's listen to it, guys. How the old world managed to waste so many resources on vapid enterprises is beyond me. What is the point of keeping a record on all these useless topics? This isn't a library. It's a graveyard for pointless knowledge. Give me a year, and I'll sort out the hundred, no, say, fifty books worth keeping. While we cremate the rest, and make room for a new chapter. The stupidity of these pre-war novels, in particular, are just too much for me to endure. I am Whoa. still waiting for their database. What was the name of this wretched thing already? Arthur. To come up with actually valuable information. Okay, so he talked to Arthur. Hey. So, how may I help you? James, your name is kind of get weird. Well, I found this recording in Dexter's room, and I must warn you, it's probably not what you expected. Oh, great. I can't wait to know what... Uh... <sighs> oh, dear. I don't need much time to digest this. All right. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you give me what's promised? Please, take this. You can cash in in the study room. It's the room on the southeast where our master sleeps. Question, quotation. Come back and tell me when you want to give me a hand with another guest. Another printing card. Sure. So, how may I help you? No, I think it's more, how can I help you? There is another guest I want you to investigate. Darren and Pretty. On many regards, he was one of the most interesting guests we've had. But because of messy circumstances, I couldn't make a proper debrief for them. Uh, what do you mean by messy circumstances? One night he became so badly drunk he began throwing insults at the books. Us and our mother. Mother? While the experience was very enriching from a vocabulary standpoint, we ultimately had to stop him before he blew up the entire bibliographies with C4. How did that end up? Well, he ended up being banned from this place. One of the rare times we had to resort to banishment. We feared he'd come back at us with a vengeance, so we confiscated a lot of his explosive and left him with but a few weapons. So the fact that he might reach the closest community, we offered him some valuables to somewhat compensate the prejudice. Prejudice? What the hell? What kind of books did he want to destroy, dude? Economy, social studies, cognitive sciences, cybernetics. It barely made sense to us, but it looked like he knew exactly what he was doing. Picked books in separate shelves, rounded them up, packed them with C4. What the hell? Who was he? A prospector? A raider? We were never quite sure on which side he was walking. What we did realize, however, is that he is extremely eager to educate himself and learn to read and write. We were all surprised by his sudden burning passion for literature, except Helena, 
for some reason she hasn't the right to disclose that information to us. Mm hmm. So I guess I'm to find his room and find traces of something there. For all I know, he began keeping some kind of diary during his sojourn here. He said it was good writing exercise for him. Finding it could be a start. I will give you the key. He threw it at my face instead of giving it back to Roland. Oh, thanks. Uh, besides his room, any other possible lead? He liked to take long walks throughout the whole facility and outside as well. He also spent a lot of time with Helena. She won't tell me much. God knows I asked her to talk about him. She wouldn't answer. Patient, therapist, confidentiality. Alright, it's only fair I get paid for this stuff. Of course, of course. I will ensure you do once you have found something. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna dig my- Ooh, terminal. Did you find Cartwright's legacy? Uh, Cartwright, Cartwright's legacy, what is it? But if that answers some of your questions. That doesn't answer any of my questions. What do you want? Okay. I need to know who you are. What? No. You're asking me to do stuff. Mash the keyboard with your elbows. <laughs> All right. Start making sense. We'll talk again. Okay. So there's a classroom. I got everything I wanted in here. Clinic or cafeteria or... Eh. What's inside here? I have curiosity, that's all. Helena. How may I help you? Helena, um... I have some questions about some of your previous guests. I will help you as much as I can, as long as you don't ask me to breach medical confidentiality. Darren Andretti. Or... who the hell? Okay. Darren Andretti, he please. He was one of my patients. As such, there is some information I'm not allowed to tell you. Well, I'm not interested in some information. Tell me something that isn't confidential. Confidential, then. He was a young man who hadn't reached his 20s yet. By oh. his own admission, he had a restless personality, a temper that didn't go well with community life. That's why he chose to become a prospector. He couldn't read at first, but during his stay here, he worked very hard and quickly became quite literate. Almost too quickly. Interesting. Well, that's what happens when you have a passion for things. How often did you speak? As a matter of fact, yes. Even out of our therapy sessions, he would often bring me books for me to read. The first times he asked was because he didn't know how to read. The next because he simply enjoyed hearing me, he said. Well, yeah, you sound hot. Uh, what kind of books did he ask you to read? Poetry and song books. It didn't matter to him that I couldn't sing. For some reason, set readings would make Roland come all the way here. Interesting. Do you remember one of these songs or poems that made Roland come over? Yes. I believe I still have one of those around. Can you read me an excerpt? Well, why not? I'm enjoying reading poetry to our guests. The thought of you sends me shivering. I'm dressed in lace, sailing down a black feathery. My heart is thrown to the pebbles and the boat of it. All the time, I find I'm living in that evening with that feeling of sticky love inside. Uh... <laughs> uh don't you find it hot in here? Whew. Uh, what's the title you of that keep book? It inside. That's because it's kind of visceral, I suspect. <laughs> Thanks, Helena. You're welcome. Um, can you tell me about Dextrologers? I'm a little worried about him. I can't say I had much contact with him. The first time I saw him, he simply glanced over the installations, then shrugged it off. The rest of his time was spent with books and research. If I'm not mistaken, he 
he left some of his notes in the classroom. Classroom? Wait, what? I was just there. I need to go. I need to go look into the classroom again. Anytime. I am missing the fourth hollow tape. Uh, nothing in here I could use. Oh uh, well, we'll come back later. I was just in the classroom. Ah oh, ha! Huh. Found the last one. I can't believe this toaster has the nerve to deny us access to the living quarters on the sole ground that Roger lost both of our keys. We tried to sleep in the movie theater, but Erickson has grown so disgustingly fat from his constant binge eating that he snores when he sleeps. Even after I kicked him onto the ground. So I left him there and tried to sleep on the couch in the lounge. But as soon as I fell asleep, that toaster, Roland, began to walk across the room. Singing this stupid song, raising his useless spurs, the dingle dangle, or whatever the hell they do. So here I am, crawling under a desk in the classroom, trying to set a makeshift bed for me to cry myself to sleep. Yet, I'm wide awake and trying to calm the f down by recounting these events on a hollow tape. As you can hear, it works perfectly! <laughs> well, I found something weird. With some effort, you succeed in pushing the lid off this crate just enough to see its content. Ah, recycling. Despite your best efforts to find bottle caps, there's none to be found. Where do they put those? Do you not see the sign? Oh my gosh. This place has so many quests. It's glorious. Free XP just by talking and investigating. It's great. Roland, as much as I hate talking to you. And you're back. Well, yeah, I'm back. Roland. Give me the information I need, or else. Do you tell me about your Darren and Dreddy guy? Oh sure, I knew from the first second this guy was bad news, just like you, as a matter of fact. So I gave him a well-deserved hard time. Well, you call me fuckface, you seem dickweed. Didn't that much, though. Isn't that interesting? No man with a clear conscience can put up with little old me. <laughs> Did you notice something unusual when you went to his room? Uh, I remember that one time he didn't answer the door right away. I heard a very loud noise and then a bump. The whole thing was muzzled by the door, so I couldn't quite make out what it was. Interesting. Um, so you gave him a hard time. I'll probably regret asking this, but what kind of hard time? Wow. And then when he just began answering, I'm like... It's surprise visit time! <laughs> every time, every goddamn time, he'd open the door and let me inspect the room, and that's how I knew he was up to no good. Anybody normal wouldn't have put up with this. In the end, he didn't even answer what time it was anymore. He would just mumble, surprise visit time, and let me in. What a fool. What is wrong with you? Please mind that I don't put up with your crap. Yeah, well, you're no saint either, my man. You tried mud in here and you smell like shit. I don't smell I mean, like crap! Every mud in here has a smell sensitivity a thousand times higher than a mere human, but they're too polite to say anything. Well, not me! <laughs> no wonder you can smell my sphincter. A thousand times higher than a human? Jeez. How is it you're so inclined to answer my question this time? Well, I just love to brag. Okay. I'll work with that. Well, Thanks. Of course I've been helpful. I'm a gift from the heavens after all. I want to shoot you in the face. I found a large quantity of open bottles. Where are the caps? I'll give you humans this. I'm jealous of that whole disappointed look down and shake your head emote when another of your species is doing something utterly pathetic. <laughs> like rummaging <laughs> through another person's trash. Dude. I wish I'm... I could do that. If I was human, I'd be doing that to you right now. Dude. Just tell me. Where you put those caps? Only if you tell me what you intend to do with them. Uh. Ah, uh, tell them the truth. Ha! <laughs> no shit. You use trash as money? How about you give me something of actual value if you want me to share some sweet info with you? How about this? Okay. How a game? You give me a weapon repair kit. And I'll give you the first hint, which might lead you to where the caps are. 
Uh, my inner voice tells me not to engage in the game. You took the time to prepare. All right, let's be honest here. You humans, deep down, always know better, but you always choose to do the wrong thing anyways. Oh yeah, I know all about it. Besides, this isn't about how clever you are, it's about how foolish you can be. <sighs> oh, here it is. Where Excellent. is it? So yeah, that little hint. It's time to drop the kids off at the pool. It's time to go build a log cabin. Time? It's time to go make a deposit at the porcelain bank. You get me? Something regarding with the time. Oh Come my god. Soon. So I do have a bad feeling about this. Great, Roland. Great. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. Room three. Room three. Yep. Yeah, here we go. What the shiz? Oh. So he's been teaching himself how to write. I carefully writing my thoughts as they come. By writing, I ensure that what I am learning stays anchored in my mind. So I write again and again and again. See if I, see if I can get this right. This page practices writing. In a corner, Darren will A plus one equals B. He's learning math? Well, figures couldn't have done crap for them, even if I had been a doctor. Wait, what? Want to know by which hole someone is trying to screw you over? Pay attention to what he isn't saying. This guy is strange. A rough draft. Till the end of the sheets. A piece of diary. Had the weirdest dream last night. Dad was here looking at me through his broken glasses, nodding on the occasion. My head was covered with myriad of small windows. They were encrusted in my skin and open all the time. I was afraid my brain would just pour out, so I tried to close them all, yet they always burst open afterwards. My mom came in to help me pick up the bits of brain that fell on the floor. Somehow, between the time she took them and stuffed them back into my head, they turned into sheets of paper. I asked her what she, why she was doing this, that, but I couldn't understand a single word. She handed me her backpack and some kind of plasma gun. I asked her what I was going to do with it, but then she began singing erotic sounds, and that, that dear old diary, was simply too much. More of that. Crumble piece of paper. Oh, dear dad, you useless effer. Why the hell did you... You could... Why is it that the only time you actually did something was to... Never asked you. Poor old... This last bit seemed to be written several times. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Rough draft again. Mm, another one of these. I have found another one of those key cards. How many of those are there? I tried it everywhere, but I couldn't find any of the door that's supposed to open. I'll hide in the meantime in the G and the R, B, R, B, B, R, G, B, B, R. I wouldn't want to answer why I have those, especially if Roland stumbles on it during one of his famous surprise visits. So I'm guessing he hid it inside a book. Let's go in the dresser. Interesting. The whole note is written in very hesitant writing. I learned a lot today. Genitalias of all sizes and flavor are drawn on the back of the sheet. The fu- Oh. Vodka. Classy. Once again, I couldn't make any sense of anything that big-ass computer Arthur told me. I still think there's some kind of pattern, some kind of secret hidden in all his stories. But I just don't know what it is. And I still went through every book on encryption methods that I could find, to no avail, of course. Well, at least I hid one of those strange key cards in a broken terminal there. Roland doesn't bother me when I'm in the computer room anyway, 
So I should consider hiding more things there. So he probably hid a bunch of key cards there then. So he'll come with me, I'll take that. What's this? So let's get those card caches right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I gotta write this down. Where the hell's my notebook? Alright, let's see. One in planter. I'll just write where they are. Chessboard. Typewriter. Wait, what? One on biology, chemistry? Oh, you mean the shelves with biology and chemistry on it. One in case of fire. So, fire, fire hose. And one behind jukebox. And of course, none of them works. Wait, what? I think he's using it wrong then. Alright, uh, we are out of time. But we made some progress. I like it. Ooh, journal. I'm tired of playing dumb. They probably imagine I couldn't read or write a single word before I came to the library. When I've been keeping a journal since I was seven. Faking literacy was has been a ticket for a very comfy stay, but it didn't net as much rewards as I hoped. I know there were weapons, from what I gathered. The access is in the southeastern corner, first floor. Secured, but it's there. Haven't succeeded in picking the lock, and there is no terminal connected to it. There's got to be a way in. My time is running out. I'm getting sick of this place. On top of that, I saw some night stalkers roaming outside, not too far from my cache. Maybe it's time for me to leave. So he's a cache outside, too. Oh, well, this guy was shady at balls. Sometimes I don't know what to do with all this knowledge. When I think of stockmen back at NCR, I can't imagine what they could do with it. They wouldn't even care about any kind of ramification, any kind of long-term consequence. They would simply use it. Hmm. A lot to read. Anyway. To... I guess we made progress. Yeah. You again! You know, I should thank you. Somehow you've made me transcend my code base and wish I had a stomach full of half-digested food and acid so I could violently spill it out onto the floor. Weird. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 